In scenes reminiscent of early 2020, more than 100 people have tested positive to COVID on board a cruise ship which has arrived in New South Wales. The Coral Princess is a sister ship of the infamous Ruby Princess. It docked in the south coast town of Eden this morning and is now heading towards Sydney. The majority of those infected are crew members. It was the first cruise ship to return to the New South Wales south coast in more than two years. And just like its sister ship, the Ruby Princess, it came with a COVID outbreak, although without the hysteria. They've dealt with it the best they could, so... And, like, you knew you were going on a holiday, you were going to risk it anyway. Before the Coral Princess left Brisbane on Sunday, an email alert was sent out. We would like to notify you of elevated positive case numbers amongst crew members currently on board the Coral Princess. We continue to test all crew members and isolate any that return a positive result, along with their close contacts. At the end of our cruise, we noticed there was a lot of staff missing and that was because they were sick. Of the 2,300 passengers and crew, around 100 are infected. Most of them are staff. My wife's tested positive. I have not tested positive yet. Glenn Dillon says his wife Caroline tested negative on a rat. When the symptoms worsened, she took a PCR and it came back positive. Both are isolating in their room. I think they're handling it uh, as well as they can. I would think that the buffet being open is, is the one thing that I may, may criticise. The Coral Princess is due to arrive here in Sydney tomorrow. All crew members must stay on board and only those passengers who test negative on a rat will be able to get off. They're being strongly advised to wear masks, but there's no mandate. With all the testing that's taking place on, on cruise ships, it's actually safer for people to travel because they know that people are being tested. They know if you do test positive that you get quarantined. Testing that's no longer required to board a plane. Mark Reddy, ABC News.